What is up everyone, it's Accurate again, back with a new video on a piece of software for your beat making needs. So today we are diving into Serato Sample. Accurate beats. Accurate beats. And I'm very happy to say that this video is actually sponsored by the good people over at Serato. That gives me a 15% discount code for you guys to use in the checkout if you decide to buy Serato Sample. The code is just my name, Accurate, so fill that into the small little box where it says coupon code and you'll get 15% off. They also offer a free 30-day trial of the full version of Serato Sample, so just go to serato.com sample to access that one. Now you might be thinking, what is it talking about? What is Serato Sample? So let's take a look at that. First of all, Serato Sample is a piece of software, but not a software that runs on a computer just as it is. Instead, it is an AU or VST plugin that runs inside of a DAW. As of today, I think it supports Machine Logic, FL Studio and Ableton Live. But I think you should be able to run it on more platforms than that, but I'm not sure, so check out Serato's website for more information about that. I make a lot of my music with Machine Mark III or with the MPC Live or something like that, but I think Serato Sample is a really good fit for anyone with a DAW who wants to incorporate a little bit more samples in their workflow. So for this little demo review video, I'm just gonna show Serato Sample inside of Logic Pro X. So let's take a look at it. So this is pretty much the Serato Sample interface. Load audio file or drag and drop file on the screen. So let's do just that. After a quick analysis, I have the root note of the track right here, and if I turn the sync off, I get the BPM as well. Up top is an overview of my waveform, and down here I can make my edits, I can zoom in and zoom out, and this is also where I will put my slice points. Here are some parameters and settings I can change, and down here is actually where my slices are gonna end up. The interface is not too cluttered at all, and it's pretty easy to see what's going on. Now, there are a few different ways to chop up a sample here, but let's start with the most manual of them all. Since I'm using Logic, I have access to this on-screen keyboard that responds to the keys on the actual keyboard for the computer. So I won't even need my MIDI keyboard for this. I've set my first key here to respond to C0. That's just how Serato likes things to be. So if I hit that one, I'm setting my first slice point right there. If I hit it again, the sample just plays. Now if I do that again and I keep pressing keys as the sample plays, I will actually place more slice points onto the sample and they will be addressed to the keys. Now let's give that a try. Okay, it's not perfect like that. I can still zoom in and adjust my start points of the samples, but now I already have them on the keys, so that's the starting point. Yeah, you get the point. And one of the things that really amazes me with the software is the ability to time stretch and pitch stuff without introducing a lot of artifacts or stuff that just sounds bad. So let's try to pitch this entire sample like nine semitones down. And that actually sounds good. So let's get crazy and go down to like minus 22 semitones and let's lower the tempo a little bit as well. Again, it sounds kind of nice even though I really took the pitch way down. But there are more ways to chop a sample up than doing it manual like that. So let's just delete everything I did here. And let's just reset everything to back where it was from the beginning. Now this little button down here says find samples and I can go to different modes here but if I just hit find samples, Serato Sample will try to be smart and find me some chops that I might like. Sometimes it's really random and not good at all and sometimes you can find gems inside of a sample that you just wouldn't think of using yourself. I like this one, so I can click favorite and this will get a star, which means it will stay there even if I find new samples again. I like those as well, so let's favorite, let's favorite. And let's click find samples again and see what it comes up with. Like that one, so let's favorite. And hit find samples again. And right now I'm pretty much happy with the samples I got on this row of keys here. So let's try to pitch everything down again. Or 
more, maybe pitch it up a few semitones. And let's slow it down so I have more time. No, I think it sounded better pitched down. So when it comes to workflow, I think this was a pretty quick process to come up with a bunch of chops. Now let's put on some drums and see if I can find something that sounds okay. Well, sometimes it just doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Now, if I wanted to go one step further here, I can adjust my level, my filter, which is a high pass and a low pass filter, as well as my attack and my release value for each individual chop. So I get a lot of different options without ever feeling like the software is too advanced or complicated. That's nice. There is one more thing that this software handles really well, and that is to make your samples playable in a chromatic fashion. So if I'm just picking one here, like that one, and I hit this little keyboard icon down here, all of a sudden this sample plays chromatically. Just like that. And that is just a function that comes in really handy from time to time. So the overall functionality you get out of Serato Sample is pretty much unbeatable at this price point. I don't really know what to compare this piece of software with, but to be able to chop samples and put them on pads or keys or whatever you want to use that quickly and get access to this advanced algorithm that handles time stretching and pitch shifting as nicely as this one does. It's just a nice thing to have. And the fact that you're able to work with samples this hands-on with just a small little MIDI controller or even your computer keyboard like I did here, it's amazing. So for anyone who can't afford or are saving up to get a machine or an MPC or something like that, I think this is a really good start. And even though I have all of these things, I'm still going to use Serato Sample from time to time to be able to use the time stretching and pitch shifting functions that easily. Now, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about Serato Sample at this moment, but I am going to make a beat making video using Serato Sample and show you guys more of the actual workflow in a beat making situation. Stick around on the channel for that video and thanks a lot for watching this one. By the way, all of the links I mentioned regarding Serato as well as the little discount code are listed down below, so make sure to check that out as well. Again, thanks a lot for all the support you guys show me here on YouTube. Yeah, hard to get. Accurate, Accurate beats. beats.